I know that I have a couple of French subscribers, not a lot, mind you, but I know that there are there. Uh, some of you I recognize in the chat, uh, and you, you guys have been here since the beginning of my channel, and I appreciate that, right? Every now and then when I'm streaming, I recognize a couple of names. Uh, so so I, I feel the need that I, I need to make this video, right? Because in the beginning, I generally did not care about Notre Dame. I, I was a complete dick, I'm going to admit that. You know, I was making a stream... Uh, talking about some video games or something, and while I was talking, it's like, hey, V, Notre Dame is burning, and I'm like, you know, and, and then someone else is like, hey, V, Notre Dame is burning, and by the 10th person, I was getting really angry, and it's like, well, go piss on it, like, put it out, put the fire out, what do you want me to do, you know, uh, but then I actually finished the stream, and I watched the news, and it was like, holy shit, you know, I watched the Inferno, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, this, this is bad, you know, and, and I regret saying that at first, I thought it was like a little fire or something, but no, like, it, it was a massive fire, and uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, with such an old building, you're never going to get it back uh, to 100%. Like, some of the wood that was burned is irreplaceable. It was hundreds of years old. And, and it's such a place that's filled with history. It's rich in history. It managed to survive two world wars. It managed to survive a communist uprising. It managed to survive the extremists on my ideology with the French Revolution, you know, the ones that weren't guillotine happy. They, they turned it into a warehouse at the time. They, they took away its Christian heritage and made it into a warehouse, yeah. Uh, but, but now I'm getting pissed off, and I'm getting so pissed off because of... The, and it's not what you think, right? A lot of people will think, well, V, you've probably seen what the Muslims comment on Facebook and how they're cheering and they're putting smiley emojis. I don't care, you know? It's like, it's not their religion. It's not their ancestors who build that. To me, it makes sense, you know, that they don't care. It's like, fine, okay, Muslims don't care. But then I see the progressives. Then I see the communists. I see the socialists. And I see the bourgeois twats on Facebook every single day to the point where I'm inundated about the same message. Everyone is jumping on the bandwagon of virtue signaling. And, and it goes something like this. Oh, it, it, so many rich people in the world managed to get $500 million in order to donate to the cathedral. If only we would donate this money to the show. Like, fuck off. Like, first of all, okay, if you would take your nose out of Facebook for a little while, you bourgeoisie twat, and you do the research, you notice that the people who donate this huge amount of money to, to Notre Dame also donate to other things. Wow, imagine that. You can donate to more than one thing. It is astonishing. And not to mention, like, since when human beings can only care about one event? Like, why can't they care about two things at the same time? Why can't we care about the, the starving kids in Africa and also care about the cultural heritage, a, a monument of humans, uh, of European civilization? You know, why can't we care about both? Oh, no, we, we only have to care. Well, what really pisses me off is was this guy that um, was like, Oh, look at this picture. I saw on the news uh, children with cancer in the hospital and uh, we're still donating to Notre Dame and said, well, then go to the hospital and feed them, you sick fuck. Like, if you know that there are children with cancer in the hospital, holy shit, why are you on Facebook posting? How can you have the time to post on Facebook and virtue signal when you know there are children in the hospital? What are you, some kind of uh, sociopath? It's like, go to the hospital and fix that shit. Fix it right now. Du -du 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 -du. You know, what, what, what really annoys me even more is like the, these people that I, I managed to burn one of them so hard that they blocked me, right? Like, uh, they were like, oh, who cares about Notre Dame? It's like, eh, you know, why, why do we care about French culture? So I go on his Facebook, right? And I go on his pictures. Apparently, he went to France last year and he posted next to, to, to Notre Dame. You know, it's like all these people, they really don't care. But the moment they, they go into to a, ho a holiday trip... They, they want to act so cultural that, oh, look, look how cultural I am. Look, look, look what the, you know, with a glass of wine spinning it, it's like, oh, I, I'm sniffing my own farts. I, I'm such an educated person. And I'm taking pl uh, pictures with Notre Dame in the background. You know, that, that's fine. That's when you like the building. But the moment the building is burnt, it's like all of a sudden you don't care about the culture. It really pisses me off. It's like these people that just want to jump from bandwagon to bandwagon. Like they really don't give a shit about anything other than being popular and being right all the time. You know, right by... By popular consensus, of course. And you're saying this thing in order to try to look edgy. You know, it's like you're saying this opinion that might look as if it's really edgy and no one agrees with it. But the entire Facebook is filled with this shit opinion. You know, to the point where people are even memeing about it. It's like uh, everywhere you go, you see these people. It's like, oh, why, why do uh, do we care about Notre Dame? Why don't we care more about the poor people? It's like, oh, all right, when is the last time you did something for the poor? You know, and then crickets. Then crickets, because that's all it is. It's just a virtue signaling. Man, I hate these people. I don't like them. You know, 
And, and another one, it's like, oh, this, uh, there, there is another type of post. It's like, oh, did you see that uh, somewhere in Libya, some mosque burned or somewhere in the Middle East, some shit happened. It's like, no one cared. What do you mean no one cared? First of all, you know about it because someone cared. And it's in the media, so you read about it, so it exists, right? And secondly, I'm pretty sure the people in the Middle East cared. I'm pretty sure people in that geographic area gave a shit. You know, I genuinely do not believe in this idea of empathy without borders. Like, the further away an event is from where you are, you're going to care less of it. And it's the same for the people in the Middle East. Do you think they really care that Notre Dame is burning? I genuinely don't think so. Do you think people in China give a fuck? It's like, no, like the further you are from the event, the less likely you are to care. It's not, by the way, don't, don't take me wrong. It's not that I care so much about Notre Dame burning. You know, not my cathedral, not my problem at the end of the day, right? But I still understand why people care. I would never shame someone for donating money to it. I would never tell someone who, who donated his money that they didn't do an accurate job and they should have donated somewhere else. You know, like I'm pretty sure if like a Romanian shit would be burning... French people wouldn't give a fuck, but it's fine, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm a list realistic with how the world works and, and how these things function, you know, but uh, anyway, right, so, <clears throat> another one was like, oh, we, we care so much about uh, uh, Notre Dame, but we don't care about these aboriginal sites, and it's like, okay, I, I looked at the aboriginal sites, there were some holes in the ground, you know, like, the, the, I don't want to, to bring any disrespect. Like, yeah, I, I would definitely say we shouldn't build a road on them if, if they have like some cultural significance for some people. But you can't compare those with, with a building that managed to survive 800 years. You know, like a monument, or a, a Gothic monument, a, a big cultural symbol for the entire French people that have existed so much. You can't compare them with those holes in the ground. Like may, maybe I'm a little bit bigoted, you know? Maybe, maybe I'm a little, but objectively speaking, one is more impressive than the other. And it's not, you know, like, because I care more about European culture, by the way. It's like, I, I was livid when ISIS was destroying uh, uh, moment, uh, monuments from the antiquity. You know, they brought a sledgehammer and they were destroying statues. But those statues were also impressive, you know. If someone were to destroy the pyramids, I would also freak out. Because these are, like, things that were very difficult to build with the technology at the time. And it was, like, a huge uh, accomplishment for the people of that age to banish to build that. And of course it should be a national pride to, to that particular nation. And yeah, you know, like if the Egyptian government would have a pyramid that set up at flames and then they would try to get money in order to reconstruct it, I would be like, yeah, you know, that's for a good cause. I, I wouldn't pay for it, but I wouldn't criticize someone that does. Okay. And now you get to like the, the worst type of people. The communists at the Rolling Stone, which, uh, which posted this garbage. Like, l let's read a little bit, right? For some people in France, we, we don't know how many, it could be one or two, or it could be the entire population, but it's some people in France, okay, has also served as a deep-seated symbol of resentment, a monument to a deeply flawed institution at, and an idealized Christian Europe France that arguably never existed in the first place. The building was so overburdened with the meaning that is the burning feels like an act of liberation, says communist Patricio del Rel, an architectural historian, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm starting to think that the only way these people would respect it is if they were afraid of it. Maybe it should be built as a mosque. Maybe, maybe a mosque should replace the Notre Dame Cathedral and then these people would shut the fuck up and, and admit it that's some part of French culture. Because, like, look, look, it's just like if the Blue Mosque of Ankara would burn down, and then someone would come up and they would say, you know what, we, we need to get rid of all these Islamic symbols in the mosque. It's, it's kind of overburning the, the mosque and whatnot. And then you have like people that are saying, oh, this, this whole thing is just, uh, uh, we, we need to discourage people from trying to politicize the Notre Dame. It would be a mistake to view the building as little more than a Paris tourist attraction. Well, it, it just so happens that the Rolling Stones only talks with these people, you know, that it's just like, oh, it's just a little bit more than a Paris tourist attraction. Again, imagine if the, the Blue Mosque of, of Ankara would burn down and people would say about it, you know, it's good. Yeah, I mean, it kind of really has nothing to do with Islam because at the end of the day, you know, people talk about this Ottoman Empire and the glory of Islam, but we need to move away from that. It's, it's just a little more than a, a tourist attraction, is it not? And then they, they even go even further and they, they go on a bit in the article of like uh, what it means to be French. You know, it's like what it means to be a Turk, what it means to be part of this, this heritage of rich history and whatnot. No, no, nonsense. Man, like I, I am genuinely 
uh, upset at the point when I decided to make a video about this because how dare they? You know, like do they do they not have any common decency anymore? Like must they use every single tragedy and every single like the, uh, event? Which brings uh, humans together and try to saw some division over there. It's like here, let me go on the ashes and let me let me tell you about my ideology. And I, honestly, I, I saw people in France just holding hands and singing together. You know, Ave Maria when that thing was was burning, and I was like, wow, you know, that that's a little bit touching. You know, that that's actually something that brought the French people together, and that's something that it, it unites them as a French nation. That's great. Oh, union bad. No, division. We need, we need to, you know, is it really a Christian monument? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm an atheist. That's what pisses me off. I'm an atheist that I have to defend religion. Of course it's a Christian monument, you idiots. I can't believe you took, like, what, what was he? A, a historian architect at University of blah, 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 and he can't tell a cathedral that it has play, ties to Christianity. It's that stupid. It's like, again, you know, any, any mosque that will burn down and say, oh, what does this have to do with Islam? Like, imagine if someone set fire to Lenin's grave and then some, some journalist would come and say, hey, you know what, like, what does this have to do with communism? It's just a tourist attraction. It's got, it got no cultural significance or anything like that. Oh my God, I bet these journalists would be livid if someone would point it like that, you know, if they would spin it like that. You know, the same with Karl Marx's statue. They, they were utterly horrified when someone desecrated it. And by the way, I disagree. I don't think you should desecrate it. But, but all of a sudden, like, all the journalists were defending it and the Guardian was livid and blah, blah, blah. Imagine if someone would come and say, oh, yeah, you know, it's just a tourist attraction. Why do you care so much? Anyway, right, I, I just uh, felt like doing a little bit of a rant. Hope you guys found it funny, at least, and entertaining. If you did, let me know what you think in the comment section. And I hope I'll see you all later on on my live stream channel. It's called V Live Streams. I'm going to live stream right now. Okay, so so please join. Like right right now. Right now. Go go on the other channel if you want to listen more of me.